Well, hello, my planner friends. Thank you for joining me. First of July, time to do a review of June in my planner, as well as um, set up for July. So let's start off with June. Now, for those of you, uh, I just want to recap. I use my planner as a combination. It's definitely a functional planner for work, um, but I also use it as a journal, um, Personally, I set my goals and, uh, um, you know, work on my miracle morning um, affirmations and um, being grateful, as well as uh, just in general working on stretching myself and trying to become a better person, etc. So these were my goals for uh, June. And the highlighted ones are the ones that I felt I did fairly well in um, uh, in July in accomplishing. Let me see if I can zoom in just a little bit for you. So you can get, whoops, wrong way. Um, all right, so starting up here with spiritual, I did really well with my daily prayer and Daily gratitude, Bible study, uh, choose happy, choose to be happy, and encouraging others. Um, I worked so many hours. I little, literally was working 10, 12, 14 hour days uh, with my new job. One day I worked 16 and a half hour days. I'm, I was a little astonished that I could even do that now. But uh, anyway, I didn't get out a whole lot to be able to do the random acts of kindness. But I did fairly well with my spiritual. Family and friends, uh, I did contact weekly, called, send cards. Uh, I did not uh, plan any trips to go and visit any anybody this uh, in June. Had um, way too much going on, so I didn't, uh, didn't do that. Uh, in career, though, uh, definitely accepting new challenges, learning and growing and networking. In passion, uh, Definitely was doing my planning, uh, card making, journaling, and art. Uh, not uh, any calligraphy though in June. Just just did not have time for it. With my business, um, I did not do well. My goal was to post tw uh, twice weekly. I just couldn't do it. I did get one card making video done and. Um, just organically increasing followers, but again, I didn't do a calligraphy post or an art journal post, so um, I don't consider that I did well in that area. And I completely failed in June in terms of reading. I like to read. Uh, my goal uh, in June was to read two to three books in June. Uh, gosh, prior to this new job, I was reading three or four books a month, but I didn't even get to read two to three times, uh, two to three books this month. Just by the time I got done working those long days, I was fried. So that's what happened with that. Um, so for health, uh, definitely was uh, did better drinking more water. Uh, failed miserably at reducing my carbs and sugar. Just with all the hours I was working, I didn't spend a whole lot of time on that. I did do my stretching daily. And then for finance, um, I did limit my spending and I can say I went the entire month of June without purchasing any new uh, craft supplies so that was a definite success and of course I continue to follow my debt payoff plan. And then under contribution again didn't do well with my random acts of kindness or paying it forward or giving to the homeless, <laughs> but anytime I was uh, in contact with people, I tried to be very encouraging. So, uh, you know, being an introvert, I, oops, I tend to um, kind of, you know, I'm pretty much a loner and so, uh, and I'm not real talkative, so, I, you know, I have to think about doing these things. Um, it isn't insincere, insincere if I have to think about it, um, unlike somebody where it just kind of comes naturally. It's very sincere because I'm making the conscious effort to do it. Uh, I just have to work at it. 
Okay, so I did my June in review, and as I always do, and this was my tracker in June, where I track all of my um, physical symptoms that kind of go along with the um, back issues I have from a car accident, as well as the fibromyalgia. The, the different things I track, trying to figure out if there's any kind of correlation to the increased pain or whatever. And then the things that are important to me, you know, the no spending, random acts of kindness, calligraphy, Instagram posts, YouTube posts, Facebook posts. So uh, the, this correlates with my goals up here. And you can see I didn't do too well this month. But, you know, I was very, very busy with the new job. So I am going to have to take May out of here because May is taking up some space. But here was the monthly calendar for June. And um, this was my travel for work. So I use the monthly calendar for my personal stuff. Other than marking that I'm unavailable, I don't put any business stuff on this on my monthly calendar. I keep, uh, keep that in the dailies. So I use a combination of weeklies and dailies. And, um, you know, I made a slight change over June. Um, than I did the previous month because I, I, I learned that not having the a day, a single day on two pages, I was becoming remiss in doing my daily Bible study. So I decided I'm going to continue using the week on two pages for, for personal stuff. Um, when I started out in June, I was still using it for work. Uh, and, you know, just you can get an entire month in your planner doing a week on two pages uh, so you can get the whole year in your planner without a problem but when I realized that I wasn't doing my Bible study even because even though I was putting a stamp in here you know so that I could check it off as a daily reminder I wasn't doing it so and and of course I was doing my week my workly week tasks on this page now, I always kind of use this as a weekly reflection. Um, I think it was the second or third week in June that I started also incorporating um, a day on two pages. So I continue to use the week on two pages and keep it all personal, uh, personal stuff, and then I was using the day on two pages for uh, the work and Bible study. So here, this is, so I started it on the 12th. So I started keeping, um, you know, I still do my mood and weather, and then I started keeping kind of like little journal entries over here, and um, just personal stuff on this side. And, um, I'll just finish out the, the week on two pages so you can see. So I stopped using the weekly task tracker because I was doing it on the day on two pages. Continue using this section here at the end of each week kind of as a reflection of the week. And then again personal and I started putting personal to do's on this, sh on this page rather than uh, work. So that started working out really well. And um, I think there was one more week. Okay, yeah, and this is the last week. So s continuing to use it as little journaling entries, which works out really well for me because I'm not a, you know, a dear diary kind of a person, but it was good to use as just quick notes. And you can tell that when I am in a hurry, I write very, very sloppy. Um, but um, I, I'm liking this week on two pages for my personal journaling and mood tracking. Um, that's been working really well. And uh, as a matter of fact, I um, just as an aside, I set up a meeting. I have an appointment coming up with a nutritionist. And before I meet with her, I got a surprise in the mail yesterday. She sent me, you know, a few little things um, that are going to help me with my nutritional plans. And primarily, I sought her out because I want to see if I can find uh, 
and incorporate more non-inflammatory type foods into my diet because I, I have, after months of tracking this fibromyalgia and, and so forth, uh, and the symptoms and the levels of pain, I have concluded that what I'm eating is definitely contributing to the level of pain that I am feeling on a daily basis. So, one of the things she sent me was this little, um, it was like a little, uh, it has these smiley faces from, you know, happy to sad, and you're supposed to track how well you did uh, following your nutritional plan. Um, so I'm trying to figure out how do I want to incorporate that in my week on two pages because this is my mood um, and this reminds me to always you know choose to be happy obviously I don't always succeed because you can see on some other pages I didn't do quite so well um, but this was a good week so I was you know in great mood all week long um, so anyway in terms of that nutritional Face. I'm not quite sure how I want to uh, track that. You know, maybe I'll track it on this side or something like that. And, um, you know, this I, I wanted to just bring this uh, to your attention to uh, um, any of my um, Christian friends watching. I was listening to a radio show, and he said something so profound I had to write it in here, and I just wanted to share it all with you, or share it with all of you. Um, the purpose of prayer is for you to learn God's will for you, not for God to learn your will. He already knows what you want and you need. And I found that so profound because I grew up thinking that, you know, if one or more pray, you know, and you, and you pray fervently um, and asking God for something, you know, he may or may not choose to do it. And, and there's a... I just realized when I heard this, there was a there's a huge flaw in that way of thinking because, again, God already has His plan for you. If you're if you're a Christian, this is this is the way you you know you our our, our belief um, lays it out. God already has His plan for you. He knows what He He has in store for your life before you're even born. So if you pray fervently for something it doesn't necessarily mean you're going to change it doesn't mean you're going to change his mind if that is not his will um, what's really happening is 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 if he if he does or does not answer your prayer um, you're going to learn more about God's will so for example if you pray and he doesn't answer your well, let's, let's take it positively first. If you pray for something and He answers your prayer, then that is your opportunity to praise God and glorify God, right? If He doesn't answer your prayer, um, you're, to learn, you're to learn more about yourself and the will of God out of that. Um, I, I'm, I'm not real articulate about these kinds of things. This is very clear in my mind. I'm sorry if I can't really articulate it in a way that um, m is meaningful to the rest of you. I hope that some of you can understand what it is um, I'm trying to convey with this. I just thought that was so profound. Anyway, back on task here. Um, sorry to digress. So now going to the daily pages. Um, that's July. Where's my June daily pages? So in June, as I said, uh, I started the using the daily pages um, because I had said in my last video that I was I was not being diligent about doing my daily Bible study, and that's something that's very important to me. You know, um, and right now I'm kind of dissecting the book of, of Matthew, and not having that daily empty page reminding me. For some reason, I just wasn't getting it done. So on June 9th, I received the day on two pages, inserts from Franklin, and I started using them. And you can see, well, actually, I received them, I think, here. Yeah, on the, uh, yeah, okay, so I started using it on the 8th, okay? So I started in uh, doing my Bible study on the 9th, and I was pretty consistent about getting it done. Now this, I was packing, travel, 
This is something else I learned about else about myself. I have this big old Bible, and it's too much to carry uh, on a trip. So I, for this next trip coming up in July, I have downloaded my favorite uh, life application study Bible onto my iPad, so I can no longer use the excuse of travel to keep me from doing my Bible study. So I came back from my trip. And this is when I was consistently home, so I can share that I consistently did my Bible study as a result of having my day on two pages inserts. Not only that, I felt uh, more organized in that I had enough room for all of my meetings. You know, some days my meetings are back-to-back, -back. sometimes they're kind of light. And this is what my schedule starts out with. It doesn't necessarily mean like this one got canceled, but sometimes, you know, if there's a blank spot in there, somebody sets up a meeting. But um, I was able to keep track using the, the Franklin Covey uh, planner system um, much better. It's going back old school. It's, it's, a, it's a process that I've followed for years, and I just loved having my daily inserts again. And then um, starting the last week of June, I started feeling like lear you know, what I'd learned with the new job was clicking and um, I could you know, actually spend a little time um, starting to decorate my Bible. So starting I believe in the last week of June, not my not my Bible, my planner, excuse me. So it, starting with the last week of June, I started decorating my pages again, which is something, oddly enough, that I've, I've really missed. I, it's, um, you know, stickers I find very, you know, the words, very inspirational. I like um, using the stickers and color coordinating and um, uh, finding my you know, affirmations and everything. Um, so I find it very rewarding doing these stickers. So I, anyway, last week of June is when I started doing uh, the stickers again. But I was very, very consistent doing my Bible studies. So I'm, I'm very, very happy about that. So that was June. Again, uh, still using my weekly pages, a week on two pages, and then incorporated the day on two pages as well. Um, I reviewed my goals, how well I did or didn't do on those, and then of course I answered my questions that I asked myself each month. Uh, and this is part of the living a level 10 life. Um, I celebrated my top 10 achievements. Um, what did I learn about myself? people I learned from or were inspired by, greatest insights gained this past month, what obstacles, fears did I encounter, and how do I feel about my progress. So I learn about myself each month when I um, fill those out. And you can see each month I do my goals. Um, they're still pretty much the same goals, minor adjustments here and there as I learn about myself or my time commitments, but um, I just I just visualize them slightly different. I liked June's really well. That looked nice and clean, neat and orderly. <laughs> okay. All right, so everybody, that's it for June. Um, appreciate you going through the review with me. I uh, Hope that perhaps I may have inspired you uh, to use your planner in a way that works best for you. And with that, I want to wish you a wonderful and blessed day. Take care.